I was told I belong in the kitchen, and I agree. My favorite kitchen appliance is the microwave. But even that is hard to use because it has way too many buttons. And I found a lot of people who also think that microwaves have way too many useless buttons. Microwaves have way too many buttons. The microwaves have way too many buttons. How many of the buttons on your microwave do you actually ever use? Microwaves have been around since the 1950s, but haven't changed much since. So today, I'm making the microwave of the future. A microwave without any buttons that anyone can use and it can cook on its own. Today I'm making a self-cooking microwave. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all the buttons. I peeled off the sticker to see what is behind each button and it looks that I have to open the microwave, which is kind of terrifying. But according to Reddit, all I have to do is short the capacitor and listen for a spark. I'm shaking. Well, there's no spark, so... I only trace one button because I've never had the time to learn how to use a new microwave and I only use a 30 second button no matter where I am. I wrote a couple of if statements, made a time display and put it back together. And that's it! I have a microwave with no buttons, and when I close the door, it goes on its own for 30 seconds. Oh my god, it's now... Oh! 30 seconds! So, dinner. Chicken pot pie. Chicken, chicken pot pie. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is that 4 minutes? That's 4 minutes. Okay, yes, it works, but this is when I realized that it's not giving self-cooking yet. It's like when someone, like when you have to ask someone to do something for you, and then you have to tell them exactly how to do it, and then it's like, well, I might as well just do it. This is how this feels. I think that real automation is when I know that I'm being watched by a bunch of people in India with their cameras and sensors so that I can just shop, walk out, not talk to anyone, just as God intended. What if I also let a bunch of people watch my food and uh, decide how long it should cook for? So I want to try crowdsourcing. <laughs> Just like Amazon, I want my automation to be actual humans. So I put a camera on top and now people online can see what is inside my microwave. Then I found an old API that gives me access to the smartest people on the planet. All I had to do was create a Twitter profile for my microwave and program it to tweet photos and read people's responses. What is this is doing, it's reading your tweet and it can find the number, but then also if you say any of these words, it's gonna recognize them as time and turn them into seconds so that my microwave knows how long it should cook for. So now, when I close the door, the microwave takes a picture of my food, uploads it to Twitter, and asks people how long it should cook for. Then, people can just reply and it automatically takes the average and starts cooking. I don't know, Twitter has a lot of people that tell me what, how to do stuff. I decided to test my crowdsourcing microwave with something that everybody knows how to cook. Spaghettios. Microwave on high for 45 seconds or until hot. Okay, it, it worked, it worked. You wanna see my, okay, I wanna make it a big screen. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> okay, we just wait for treats. Three years, nine, 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 nine. Uh, pie. Oh, he did say seconds, that's nice. Infinite. Oh no. <laughs> so, um. Do you hear that relay going? It's still adding 30 seconds each time, so we're cooking for that long. Should we just leave it? The spaghetti o fumes made me remember an old Spanish proverb I have to put my mouth where my money is. I found that God created a crowdsourcing marketplace where you can pay people to do stuff for you online. And before I used it to hire people, I signed up and spent one hour doing a job for someone where I had to choose photos. A model, and then a picture of a shirt, and then two what looks like AI generated pictures of the model wearing the shirt, and then it's asking me which one looks the best. <laughs> I made two cents. So I'm gonna pay a dollar to control my microwave. I changed the Twitter code to use a Mechanical Turk API and after 20,000 emails, I got it to actually work. 
So now, when I close the door, my microwave takes a picture, uploads it to Mechanical Turk as a job, and all I have to do is wait for someone to take the job and cook my food for me for a dollar. And just like that, I found myself hauling my microwave into my garage to let strangers online cook my food for me. Cook nine frozen mini pizza bagels for two and a half minutes. So let's see if people get it right. Okay. I'm kind of scared. All right. There it is. It's on the side of all. Someone, someone already took it. There it goes. Oh, 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 oh. How, okay, wait, how long does it say? 6,067. Two and a half minutes. While my mini pizza bagels cooked, I couldn't help but wonder if people only know how to properly use a microwave with buttons, should I have buttons? In a world where microwaves have buttons, maybe we also need microwaves, buttons, so people can interact with us. The burnt out bagels reminded me of me at my old job where computers were good but people were always ruining automation. And that's probably because AI is way better than our brains. I'm gonna use ChatGPT. I started by just sending a picture to ChatGPT and see what happened and it looked like it knew what it was doing so I wrote some code with their API and tested. I gave ChatGPT this picture on my first test and it says the image appears to show a collection of round cookies or sweets topped with a pink icing and small color candies or sprinkles. But now I want to try to ask how long should I microwave this for and see what it says. Microwave time can vary based on what you're heating in your Please tell me the time in seconds and without any instructions. And now we run it and see what it says. 60 seconds! I put a Sharpie in and ChatGPT told me it wasn't a good idea. And now, like, it doesn't go if it thinks it's not safe. I didn't even think about this when I started making this video. So now, the microwave takes a picture when I close the door, sends it to ChatGPT, and ChatGPT decides if it's safe to cook or not, and how long it should cook for. So I'm gonna have my friends over for dinner and see what happens. I am. Safety expert backyard scientist. <laughs> you open the back door, dude. You put it in the microwave, you hit cook, and, the, and it's, that's it. Yes. So it has to detect what this is and then decide how long to cook it for. Yeah. Can we cook it? <laughs> and we're gonna see how your microwave does against uh, some tin foil. It, 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 might, it might cook. It might just cook. <gasps> oh, it's smart! Oh! oh wow! What did it say? It's generally not safe to microwave items drive in aluminum foil. So it's cooking for zero seconds. Uh, uh. Wait, I want to see the picture. The foil. <laughs> Wait, it can tell just from this picture that the thing is wrapped in aluminum foil? Yeah. This is the best thing that's happened to microwaves since they've been invented. I made a self-cooking microwave. I just close the door and it goes. And, and, and also, if it thinks it's not safe, it doesn't go. I don't know, I think it's so cool. Yeah, I just wanna play more with it and see if it like can recognize whether it should go or it shouldn't go. This is like the best day of my life. Oh my God, please, please. The box is to cook for two and a half minutes. I got 150 seconds. I love that I don't have to read instructions or think about what I put in my microwave anymore. And it was all thanks to that one DM that made me build this project that actually works and microwave me a little bit. And so, yeah, I agree. I definitely belong in the kitchen. Mm, I think this is a win. All right, I'm done. I never want to see a microwave again.